hey everyone welcome back to another video so in today's video we are going to create this type of ui where this called this is this ui is actually called as new morphic view so here you can see these buttons are like they are tappable clearly you can see them also at the bottom we have created this three buttons which are tappable also this slider is also having new morphic view design so also this image at the center is also having white and gray border or shadow you can say here so this is what we are going to create in today's video which is very easy to create in swift UI. so let's get started and see how we can create this so now let's create a new project first new project i'm going to call this project as pneumorphic view make sure these settings are same and click next let's save it on our desktop so for this project one prerequisite is i want to add one image so here as we have seen i have added my image here so i will add that image first in the project so let's go to assets and let's drag the image from the desktop okay now we can start so you can start first with the here two buttons which are at the top and these two are horizontally placed you can see and in between we have the text so we can start with that so i will create a new view here first i will say new file format this music player let's call it as music and create this is again same like our main uh, swift ui app which is swift ui view which is content view so here i am going to create one property at the top let's say this will be a state property state private where it will be having a value of cg float and i will assign this to 100 this way this is basically i'm creating for this slider so at the launch by default it will be 100 means it will be showing some loaded part so for that i am creating this property and now we can start with this so let's use first a v stack because we want everything vertically stacked so for that v stack below this i want to use one h stack inside this h stack what i can do is i can use these two buttons and this text so let's do that so first for button i will say button with action and label on the action part i don't want to do anything so i will skip that and i will use here an image because we want to show button with image and for image i will use system name and system name will be heart as you can see we have this favorite heart here and here we have three lines so we will create the second button after creating this first one now we want to give many modifiers to our image so let me just click resume here so that we can see it on the right side how it is reflecting now i have just added one image you can see heart image is there on our button now let's add the modifiers first will be font and for font i will use system size which is like this size and let's say size of 14 and also i want to give the weight so let's say weight will be dot bold okay now it's looking little bit more heavy now let's add some more modifiers like foreground color i will say foreground color will be dot black okay also we want to add some <clears throat> padding so let's add padding from all the sides <clears throat> sorry then let me add some background so for background what we want to do is you can see here this is the white shadow and the actual background is not white it is little bit little bit you can say off white so we want to create that color and we want to add that color to our background so i will create that color here color extension extension color let me just move up <clears throat> okay so for the extension i want to pass the color static let off white i will call it as and let's assign the color 
so for this i want to use the red green blue value and again <coughs> sorry for the noise okay so now here red i will pass as 225 by 255 green again same 225 by 255 for blue i will say 235 by 255 and opacity we can skip from here so we can remove that Okay, so this will be our off-white color which I'm going to use for our background views. So let's come here and let's let's add that. So I will say here dot background. I'll say color. Color dot off-white which we have created. Now you can see it's a little bit different from the white color. So let's use that and now I can give so now it is square I want this button to be rounded so I will clip the shape with circle so I will say dot clip shape and I will pass the circle default now you can see it is rounded and now we can say we want to give the shadow so that it will look like pneumorphic view so I will say shadow and for shadow we want to pass color radius and x and y so we'll use this one so for color i will say let me just remove this and add the color parameter first color and color will be our color dot black dot opacity we want to give let's give 0.2 for black color and after this i want to use radius radius let's say 5 then also i want to give x and z so for x i will say 5 and for y also i will say 5 so here you can see we have added the shadow here which is black with some opacity now we'll copy the same code and we'll paste it below here and now instead of black we will pass the white and also we want to give here little bit more that is 0.7 and here we want to give minus 8 so that it will come on the top side which is here so now you can clearly not see that but once we change the background color then you will be able to see it more clearly so now we have just created our first button now we want to give this text in between so let's give that text before that i will add one spacer now add the text this text is music player okay and then below this we want to again create one more space here and now we have to add one more final button which will be same like this so let's copy this and paste it here only the differences we want here horizontal lines so for that i will say let uh, sorry line dot horizontal dot i want three lines so dot three dot decrease direction so that decrease okay let me change the spelling okay yeah so this is coming from the sf symbol if you don't know how we are getting this make sure you check the video of sf symbols i have uploaded previously to how to use the sf symbols in swift ui Okay, so this is good. Now we have created our button. Also, we have added this. Now this is under this V stack. So what we want to do is below this button, we want to create our next part, which is this image view. So let's use that now here. I will say image. Then my image name is Prashan. So let's pass that. Okay, this image is too big, so let me just resize this using resizable. Then also I need to pass the aspect ratio. So I will say dot aspect ratio, and I will say it as dot fit, so that it will fit inside my screen. And then I need to pass the clip shape also. dot clip shape circle will be default okay it's looking fine then i need to give some padding 
so we'll say dot padding let it be default padding then i need to give the shadow which is same like this so i will pass this only let's copy this and paste it here so that's why it is very easy to create because everything we are just copying pasting here now you can see our image is ready with black shadow here white here white will be reflecting more clearly once we change the background okay so now our image is also ready our buttons so half of the view we have completed now we can focus on this where we have to show the two text so let's add that i will say dot text here with our channel name which is Ashan as developer then let's add some modifiers on this like font then font weight let it be default values then font color foreground color we will say it will be dot black okay then i will say padding some padding from the top i will say say padding of 25 okay let me just change this to iphone 11 so that will look much better on that okay then below this i want to add one more text so let's add that this text is actually swift ui youtube channel you can say swift ui youtube channel okay then i want to again add some font on this here i will add dot uh, you can say sub headline then foreground color i want to give again it will be black and below this i want to add padding okay now it's looking better now we can create this two you can say timers so let's create that for that i will use edge stack then inside as tag i will use first one text for the start time which is 0 0.5 not like this then i want to give some font on this let's say by default title only and then foreground color i will say dot gray okay then in between i want to add spacer so that it will go on the corners let's add the second text after this and it will display the time as seven minutes then again same font and foreground color dot gray okay here also i need some padding so that it will give some spacing on the these sides okay much better now and now the very important part this we are going to create this slider so let me just tell you at the start that for creating this slider we have used three things which is one capsule you can see here which is very small in height that's why it is this much and it has width to the screen and some spacing at the sides then on top of this one capsule i have added one more capsule with this dark color this is the light color this is the dark color then on top of that i have added this circle shape and I have done this using the Z stack so that we can place the views on top of each other and also we have increasing the width of this capsule as per the movement or the drag gesture of our this circle view so this is what we have done here so let's do this in the coding so for that what we will do is first we will use a Z stack so that we can place the views on top of each other so let me just move up and here what i can say is now you can see that after this text we are using it so for that i am going to create a z stack so let's create the z stack just below the h stack z stack this z stack will have the alignment alignment will, will be again will be with alignment and it will be horizontal and i will say dot leading also for vertical i will say dot center 
okay then comma here i want to create the context and for this i will say like this inside this i want to create my view so for that first i want to use the capsule as we have seen previously capsule and to give the color to a capsule we have this okay let me just check here we are getting some error i guess okay here i have just uh, written the content instead of i have written context instead of uh, content so we have corrected that now we can create our capsule so you can see by default it will take all the space available so inside this i will say dot fill so to give the color to our capsule you will use this then i will say color dot gray and gray is a little bit dark so i will add the opacity let's say opacity of 0.2 okay now it's good now we need to change the height so i will say dot frame and for width i am okay with anything it is taking full screen width but for height i will say six and let's check that okay this is good alignment will be okay the next part is we want to create a circle on top of this but that circle will have one more uh, capsule on top of this and then that circle so for that we will use one more z stack here so i will say z stack again just copy this part or we can type it again instead of getting confused so i will say alignment and set this again alignment and it will have horizontal and vertical so for horizontal i will say this time trailing and for vertical again dot center this trailing because when we are scrolling this part it is mainly focusing on the right side so it will always increase it on the right side that's why trailing so now after this i want to create the actual two views inside this so i will say again capsule this time this capsule will be dark in color so i will say dot fill with color and this will be black but again with some opacity let's say 0.6 okay it's, you can see it's exactly at the top of that capsule so let's add the frame for this so frame and again this frames value will be very important depending on the actual value so as you can see we have given this value at the top which is 100 so i will pass that here value and we will change this value as per the movement of our that circle or the stroke you can say for the slider and height will be again same as per the previous capsule so you can see it's working or it's looking good now now we have added our two capsules now the part which is we have our circle shape I'll say circle again it will come on top of those two capsules and then I will say dot frame the circle frame will be I will say let's say 10 by 10 will be good okay the also it's looking very small so I will add some padding so that it will look good so I'll say dot here padding from the all the sides okay now for that padding i want to add some uh, color so i will say background color not here here color dot off white you can see it's working then below this what i will do is i will clip the shape from so that it will look rounded so i will say dot clip shape circle default okay fine and now i want to add the shadow so i will just copy this code again for our shadow then we'll add this on our circle view now you can see we can see the shadow here and here this is again not clear but once we add the background to our main view it will be reflecting properly okay so now what we want to do is we have added our this slider also we want to give some padding also to our slider and then we add, need to add these three buttons so let's do that so here if i come down 
on this my z style i will say a gesture on this because i want to move that slider so i will add gesture here so say dot gesture and i will want to use the drag gesture okay so this drag gesture will have one method which is on change so let's use that on change i want to say the value which is which we are getting means how much it is drag that value we are getting here so we'll check if that value which is drag its location we are going to check locations x value we are going to check if it is low less or equal to our main ui screen dot main dot bounds dot width minus 30 because we are giving the padding from both the sides 15 50 so minus 30 if it is okay and there is one more condition we want to check that if the value value dot location dot x should be greater than or equal to zero then we can say that i want to add this value in my main value like this and say value dot location dot x so how much the value of this x is changed i will set that value to this value and this value basically used here to increase the capsules width so let me just change this change this to let me just check the error here it is saying that cannot assign value is a let constant let me just change the value of this to say my slider value and we can use it here and here also okay now it's fine so now we can see our slider will work let me just click on try again and run it here only okay it's running here Okay, let's run it on the actual simulator to see sometimes this canvas takes time to load you can see it's still not working fine here okay we have not assigned this main music view here so let's assign this first on our main content view let's click resume here only okay let me just run it here to see if it's working fine and you can see it's working now so now we can do the next part is adding some padding and adding those three buttons at the bottom and then adding the main color for the background view so let's come here now after adding this we want to add some padding so i will say dot padding padding will be from the top okay fine now we can create our views which is main below this i want to give some spacer we just reduce the size of this okay now after adding the spacer i can add hashtag to add three buttons so add stack then if this hashtag will have some spacing spacing i will say of 20 and then i want to use the spacer here spacer i am using because i want see in my actual demo i want spacer here here and here so that's why i am adding spacer then i will create the button this button will be same as per our this previous button which we have created here so let me just copy that button so this is our button let me just paste it here and we can change some things like here i want to give different image not this one so i will say here our backward dot fill so you can see this backward forward and pause then on this i am going to use font which is same it's good then this black then padding i want to use like of 25 then i want to give the background color as off white clip shape circle is okay and shadow this is fine 
now let's give some spacer and again copy this button and paste and just change the image name to pause like this okay then below this again one more spacer and one more button this will be backward button or you can say forward we have already added backward so this time forward okay let me just make it this capital s and now it's working fine and at the last again one more spacer okay so now you can see our view i our actual view is completed but it's not looking that much uh, you can say new morphic so for that I just need to do one more thing I want to add some padding here okay and below this also I just need to give some background so that our view look good background with our this color which we have created at the start color with off white and on this I will say dot edges ignoring on, on the sides Okay, I have added at the wrong place. Let me write this part again. Color dot off white dot edges ignoring all the sides. Okay, let me just write this at the bottom. Fine, now we have completed our code, but you can see this part is only working. This is not working because our the view which is inside this is not taking that uh, background color so let me just change that part so inside our add stack we have this much so this is also not coming inside our actual v stack so let me add this outside okay now you can see it's working fine so let's run it and see how it is looking on the actual app so this is our new view and you can see it's working fine and all the views are looking very good and if I tap you can see we can see the effect also so this is how easy it is to create this new morphic view in shift y I hope you guys have liked this video and if you have liked this video make sure you hit the like button and to get the video today's video code you can come here on my github page and you can get the code from these repositories here i will upload the code and also if you want you can follow me on this instagram where i post daily updates about my videos so that you will not miss any video in the future so thank you guys for watching this video bye